Guys, big updates. Welcome back, first of all. Um, back in the water, like surf like three or four sessions, each like incrementally getting bigger surf. Um, so I feel really good. The back, I'm pretty sure is near 100%. I haven't tested in anything big yet. Um, today we're gonna go to Hala Eva, big northwest swell. So probably like eight to 10 foot. That'll be the biggest waves I've tested in. Gonna go do some big turns, maybe some barrels. We'll see. Um, I don't know if we told you yet. Signature Shades came out with blenders. If you guys are psyched. Signature Collection. If you guys want to support, if you dig the shades, we'll leave a link in the description for those. Um, okay, we're gonna set up a new board. And since we were filming a video today anyway, we decided to do a quick setup of the board in okay, case so there's certain things you guys can get some tips from. Um, I always clean the board really well and I always start a setup with the grip pad and so I'm assuming you film a plane will fly over you. <laughs> That's a fact. You guys are going to do grip pad and leash um, and wax so I probably don't I mean, maybe some of you have stickers on your boards, I don't know. But that part for the majority is probably less interesting. Anyway, when setting up a board, I always start with the grip pad because I feel like the glue needs a little time to settle. And if you guys are like have like overnight or a few days, it is better. I'm setting this thing up and I'm gonna go straight into surfing, so it's not like super good on timing. Because you for whatever reason you like the glue to like kind of settle in a little bit. It's just theory in my head usually line the back of these pads up first, so I have an idea of where I want it to be. Kind of in the general vicinity happened in front of this. Like, the reason these are shaved down is so water doesn't catch. Originally, guys would not shave them, um, and, or they would the pads would come unshaved on the sides and guys would cut them with a knife, but now they just come like that. And um, I look at the rails and make sure like it's not too close to the rail because I don't want water dragging on that. And then I unglue this guy or get the stuff off so it's ready to stick. These guys still have theirs on and I like to just place this right where I want it to be so we have an idea of where these will be once we remove everything. And I just line up this. There's a central line of these lumps with the stringer and you get a nice straight diamond on the stringer. Um, I don't know what FCS pad this is, but this is what I use. Anything that's a pintail, I'll use this pad because it's rounded and thing. There is a short board pad. I don't know the models that well. Um, but it has like a um, wider base and like a tail block style thing. And then I don't mind like, you might think like, oh the pad's made to be like that. But like, you want a huge gap, but sometimes I just angle it out a little bit. Like you're not going to slip in there as long as that line is small. But you get a little more width up here. And then uh, this is a 6-2 epoxy board, um, which I like for doing like turn stuff. It's all light um, and maneuverable. Tank model, so a little extra volume than the next step. I ordered more tanks for the travels this year, more volume with uh, less board for some of like the slab stuff. So we'll be testing this board on turns today, but. Ideally, it'll be a great slab board as well. And I'll use my signature FCS fins in it. And for a 6.2, um, I'll probably just keep the six foot leash. Usually you wanna go a leash a little longer than the board is. If I was serving like pipe or something, I mean, maybe even today I'll use a seven foot leash, uh, but probably use a six foot leash. So, leash string, um, I'm just gonna explain to you instead of doing the whole thing. But I'll tie the leash string real short so it doesn't go off the edge of the board so it doesn't pull through. The leash string short and leash there so it pulls the tail up. And I'll be using my fins, my stick wrap wax up, and we will see you at Hollywood. You lost?
I don't know if I'm going to pull this parking. Let's yeah, see. turning into left-hand spots on a tight, it's not it. The back end. You got to always back in. Drive past, get your rear tire past, just past the line, and then whip it around. I'm teaching Nate how to drive the Sierras. You are the worst driver. <laughs> Driving lessons with Zort, presented by GMC. <laughs> Shout out to our boy, Justin. Oh, have to give a huge shout out, forgot to do this, to my boy, my favorite subscriber, Zuko. He is our uncle's son. He loves Minecraft, video games, and our YouTube channel. We love you, Zuko. And Saudi, his sister. <laughs> Savage. That's it. I'll tell you for you. Don't do that. What's the problem? <laughs> you don't think this is a dope setup? Something's weird here. <laughs> What's the problem? You don't think it's just surf fashion? Arda, what do you think of the get up? You're on a Hey, you're not, nobody's stronger than the sun. Um, so, we just got in, and, oh, let me give you the stats, these are dope. Um, probably, it was two and a half hour session at Holiva, maxing Holiva, 10, 12 foot on the sets. You can say, uh, the ultimate test for the neck just went down. Now we're gonna hydrate, oh, Koa just showed up and was super fun. The board, the 6.2, worked super well. The fins were insane, and it was so fast. And we did some huge turns, and we went over the falls. And look, the boys are arriving. Okay. <laughs> and um, 
so psyched. I pretty much got as slammed as you could get slammed. I freaking went over the falls. I fell on a drop. I did like 10 turnarounds. Um, let's look at the stats. Time in the water. Wait, it only says an hour 26. Is that, that was your probably active moving? Damn, I thought it was two. Max, okay, waves 12, max speed 36, average heart rate 118, um, 5.5 miles covered of paddling and surfing in one session. <laughs> one could say I'm back. The <laughs> The back is back. I just got in. How was it? Two and a half hour session. How was it? So fun. Frick. Big turns. Big turns. Let's go back out. I'm kind of psyched. I just want to like... I have chips. You want chips or protein bars? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I mean, I got a bar here. I could go back out. Okay, dude, so psyched. Big car sections, like second wave of the set, there's barrels. Blasted the lip, went over the falls, completely exploded, no pain. Did like eight go-arounds, cartwheeled on a drop. I'm tested. Sick. I'm 100%. Your bone, when you break it, it comes back stronger. That's my guy. Break more bones. That wave drained. Yeah, there's barrels. It's sick. Yeah. I Oh my god, you can rip the fuck out of that wave. It's firing. Holy, holy shit, what'd you ride? My 6-2 epoxy and it was just so fast and whippy. People are talking. Are they? Or just you? Just me and you, pal. Me and you. <laughs> it's me and you on the podcast. Hey, like, people talk, like, just me and you. Just us, my bro. <laughs> uh... Yeah, okay, give me a second. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna drink my little hydrator and go. I got all kinds of food right here. Oh, all sick. Oh, you got your little pack from yesterday? Yeah, I got Come on over. Come on I'll come to the kitchen. I got I got these. We're coming over. Lawrence. Friends are here. You know what? I'm gonna go back out. <laughs> we're just gonna, we're just way too surf psyched right now. We were gonna go and do things like resting and hydrating, which we did do hydrating, but the resting part, we're not so good at that. And my dear friend Koa pulled up, so he doesn't want to serve by himself. Um, we're gonna go back out to Hollywood, and we're gonna do much more paddling than we initially suspected today. But that's okay, because we've been training for six weeks straight, and we finally get to put it to use in the water. So. You take that information and do with it, with it, do with it whatever you want to do. We, me, sort of on the beach, <laughs> are going back out. But first, caffeine. Super brain.
like far too many hours of volume occurring. Can be healthy. Are my arms okay? No. My shoulders? Not good. I think over the, the six weeks of not surfing, my ears opened up. My ear canals got too wide. <laughs> Need them to, to close back up and hold water out. Need calories. Let's look. Session number two. What's the stats? I logged it as a cycling event. Why? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Kuaina? Yeah. Let's go. That sounds good. Okay. So it would do that. <laughs> That's me. Surfing. And then... But doesn't the surfing one do that too? Not that really the same. Hey. Average heart... Max heart rate 150 on a surf, so pretty low compared to a workout. Average 110. Um, total descent. Whoa! Total ascent 18,000 feet. <laughs> Wait. The, the oh, that's me going it. up and down. Maybe. That's how much I got. No. Worked. Come on. <laughs> There's no way. You you got worked 10,000 feet. Yeah, I did. I did so many cartwheels. You don't believe it? That's on you. Sorry about Zord, guys. He doubts my elevation. He assumes my elevation gain. Okay, 473 cows burned. Average speed, 4 miles per hour. One Pretty hour, slow. 1 hour 10. Distance, 4.6 miles. So, paddling, surfing combined today. Uh, this was 5.5 the first session. 10 miles. I snowboarded 15 miles. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's all we got for today we're gonna go eat some burgers with mayonnaise and fries ranch dressing superfood keep your calories up stay thirsty stay hungry grind set 2023 stock market money making money in the markets finance financial data, institutions analytics. youtube analytics data finance Stock market. You banking. Take that individual banking. Chase. Finance. Bank of Hawaii. Bank of America. Personal finances. Take your finances into your own hands. Financing your finances. Today I actually made a small put trade on the market. Gained $33. So paying for lunch today. I made the same trade and made $740. Whoa! Zord's paying for lunch today. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, you screwed yourself. <laughs> Nate held his puts for two minutes, I held my puts for 30 minutes. Kuaina. I literally sold my puts That's at the loading. bottom. I went and looked back, if I would have held them, I would have lost it. I would have been down bad. I held those, held those puts until the, I bought one and I made a 35% gain on it, which was actually $33. But you actually made a higher percent gain. I bought 10, and I made like a 20-something percent gain. And if we, if both of us had held, if I had held mine, it would have been a 200% gain. But that's okay, we took Shit. a gain on the day, clean, clean gain, took profits, we're out. We're gonna wait, see what happens tomorrow. Banks are failing. We're talking about Silicon Valley, bank, Possibly going under. Who will bail it out? We don't know. If it well, doesn't get bailed out, could it cause what they call a bank run? I don't know. I don't know. But it seemed like a short kind of environment. So we shorted. If they bail that bank out, we might turn bullish. I literally woke up and had like one minute to decide to buy puts and I was like, just do it. Um, <laughs> because I literally called you and you woke up out of a dead sleep and I said, Sword, the banks are failing. What are you going to do about it? And you're like, fuck. I'm, I'm, I haven't put on a trade in like a week. Okay, I'm shorting it. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. Call my friends. Wake them up. Make the trade. Make the trade. Make the trade. Buy now. <laughs> sell, sell, sell. Whoa. Okay. I, get, I got to go. Where's <laughs> Okay, bring it on up. Sorry, is that yours? Yeah.
Burger's mine. They gave you a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Should have 